Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us on After GMS. It is Wednesday, May 18th. I'm Tracy McCain here with Ed Matthews and Megan Malaris. Yes, it is the day after primary election day. We have a lot of results yeah. to cover, some of the analysis, and even the surprises from last night. We'll talk about it all here on Facebook with you. Before we get to all of that, we do have a conversation we want you to weigh in on about your least favorite chores. And we also have a forecast, which is our favorite for the week. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. We're going to have a great day. It's a beautiful morning. So we look uh, live over Burlington. Nice uh, blue sky, a little bit of a breeze, but not much. And uh, temperatures are pleasant. Uh, we're at 56 at the Burlington Airport. The dew point is at 53. Yesterday they were in the 40s. So the moisture level has come up a little bit, but it's still going to feel great across the Piedmont today, even though temperatures will warm uh, to about 85, 86 this afternoon. We'll be a few degrees uh, shy of 90 today, but uh, Charlotte may have its first 90 degree day today. And you head on down into South Carolina and Georgia, temperatures will heat up into the low and even mid 90s. We'll have mid 90s for Friday and Saturday here in the Piedmont. Now, as we take a look at the weather map, we've got a warm front to our west that will be lifting north of the area late today and tonight. And as it does, it'll pull in this hot and humid air that's been building out over the southern plains and the lower Mississippi Valley in the deep south. So uh, I think tomorrow is actually going to turn out to be our very first 90 degree day here in the triad. It's got to happen at PTI since P uh, PTI is designated as the official weather station for the triad. If it does it in your backyard, I guess it could say it was your first. 90 degree day and then we're looking at low 90s for Friday and Saturday. Uh, we will likely see some scattered storms late tomorrow afternoon and in, in, into tomorrow evening. We've already been placed in the marginal risk area for severe weather. Not today, tomorrow. I'm just giving you a heads up on that and of course we'll be covering that tomorrow on the Good Morning Show. 85 today and mostly sunny tonight. It'll be partly cloudy 64 for the low tomorrow. Sun and clouds 40% storm chance in the afternoon and evening with a high of 90 and then uh, thunderstorm development will be suppressed a little bit by Friday and Saturday only a 20 to 30% chance. But the big weather story is going to be the intense heat and of course the humidity to go along with it will be into the lower 90s Friday and Saturday. Cold front moves in on Sunday, so a better chance of showers and storms and some extra clouds will hold us in the mid 80s. Behind that front, a genuine cool off. Look at Wednesday or Tuesday and uh, Monday and Tuesday, Ed. Yeah, that comes after Sunday. <laughs> Monday, 73 and 74, the high on Tuesday. So once we get through the hot weather, uh, some showers and storms on Sunday and then a real nice cool off as we start the new work week next week. Well, the North Carolina primaries are tapping your headlines this morning. We take a look at the biggest races, starting with the U.S. Senate. That decision was so decisive for both parties. Analysts called it 17 minutes after polls closed last night. So here it is. Republican Ted Budd will face Democrat Sherry Beasley in November. The race for Greensboro mayor is down to two candidates who now advance to July. Current Mayor Nancy Vaughn and City Councilman Justin Outling. They received the most votes and will face each other again July 26th. Also on the ballot was that $1.7 billion bond referendum for Guilford County Schools. 61% of voters said yes to the ballot item, so it will move forward. All right, so this $1.7 billion school bond referendum Megan just mentioned is a two-parter, the bond itself and how to pay for it. So we'll start with the bond. 61% voted yes in favor of the bond, which means Guilford County Schools will get the funding. But the separate item of the quarter cent sales tax proposal did not pass. 55% voted against it, and since this item failed, it is likely that the county will have to use property taxes to foot the bill instead. 
The bond will pay for repairs and upgrades at schools across the school district. County leaders have toured schools in bad shape for months after a 2019 report showed the district needed $2 billion to make the necessary fixes. Also, one to watch here, the U.S. District's sixth primary, Christian Castelli, wins the Republican nomination for the U.S. House District 6, which now covers Guilford County, Rockingham County, and parts of Caswell and Forsyth counties. Castelli now faces incumbent representative Kathy Manning in the November general election. She was first elected in 2020 and ran unopposed in Tuesday's primary. We have full primary results on WFMYNews2.com. You can check out your local races for Board of Education, City Council, and also the Sheriff's Office races across the triad on WFMYNews2.com. All right, so let's jump into our conversation this morning. We are talking about chores, Ooh. specifically hand washing. Excuse me, not hand washing, washing the dishes. Uh -huh. It's a chore to wash my hands. No, to wash the dishes. So today is National No Dirty Dish Day, and we want to know how do you clean your dishes? Do you wash them by hand? Do you toss them in the dishwasher? Or do you prefer to use paper plates or cups and really avoid the mess altogether? Drop your comments right now. Already a lot of comments coming in, so we'll give you a few more moments to do that. But our Verify team is looking into which dishwashing method is better, hand washing or using the machine. We do it every night. Every you night. might have I seen it on night. TV. This commercial claims running your dishwasher every day can save on water. That's when our Verify email started coming in. Multiple people asking us if this is true. So the question, does running your dishwasher every day help save water? Let's verify. Our source is Mary Geiger, owner of All About the Pipes Plumbing, Anta Plumbing and Drain, and Charlotte Water. We went straight to the city of Charlotte in an email. Charlotte City Water told us it depends on if it's a newer, more efficient appliance and how full the dishwasher is. They then told us a plumber would have the best answer. So we reached out to Geiger. So it is much more beneficial to use the dishwasher. On Anta Plumbing and Drain's website, it also states the dishwasher uses half the water you would have used by hand washing the dishes. You could use 20, 20 to 30 gallons per hand wash load of dishes versus most of the efficient dishwashers nowadays use anywhere between three and five gallons. Geiger says an average faucet, if you leave it running, can drain two gallons per minute. So even if your dishwasher is not full, she says it's a better option and more sanitary. You're not using sponges or washcloths that are harbor vac bacteria. So we can verify that, yes, running your dishwasher every day can save on water. So, Ed, I want to start with you here because you are single, right? And mm -hmm. so when you are eating dinner at home, I'm sure you're not using a whole bunch of plates where you, it takes a lot of time and you're probably not filling the dishwasher. Yeah. I don't think I have run my dishwasher in the past six or eight months. Really? Wow. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, single guy, Rio has a plate. I have a plate, <laughs> that's two plates, and then what I cook with. Mm -hmm. And so I just, um, I just watch, wash everything in the sink and, and get it done. Yeah. I know that the dishwasher, I mean, I'd, it would take me a week mm -hmm. to fill up the dishwasher. Right. And I'm not going to wait that long because I'm not running over with utensils and right. things like that. So I would run out probably in about three days. But mm -hmm. I think the bigger the household, the more likely yeah. you are to definitely mm -hmm. use a dishwasher. But on occasion when I have company, uh, you know, uh, family coming over, yeah. got a lot of dishes, mm -hmm. The dishwasher is A-OK -okay with me. Wow, that actually makes sense, six to eight months, because that would have been Christmas and Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is so it. So it makes sense. There you go. <laughs> Timed it with the holiday. Uh -huh. Where's that holiday plate? Oh, I put it in the dishwasher eight months ago, still <laughs> waiting for a good scrub. <laughs> that's so funny. My least favorite chore, as we've discussed mm -hmm. before, unloading the dishwasher, yes. especially now with a two-year-old who wants to help me, help me, help me, help, and then somehow they always find the knife drawer and just whip out the knife. I'm like, no, 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 no. You know? Yeah. 
yes, mama will do that part. You can have this mm -hmm. plastic plate to put away. Right. You know. <laughs> do you have the type of dishwasher where your um, utensils are separate, where you can lift them up and put them on the counter? Yes, and I should do that. Definitely it's just do that. like a hassle with getting it off, but I need to remember to do that because mm -hmm. they're so quick. They just get in there. They are quick. Mm -hmm. So I always yeah. do. That's the first thing I do when I open yeah. the dishwasher is take the utensil thing out because that's what they go for every time. Mom and tip. Julian likes mm. to close it before you uh -huh. get a chance to like <laughs> do anything. Uh, so that's another reason why we just mm. rarely use it. Yeah. Um, but I, I do wash a lot of my dishes by hand. Mm. I like to wash dishes by hand, cups by hand. I cannot stand a ring around a cup or oh, yeah. somebody's like lipstick, usually mine, because I'm the only one who wears lipstick in the house, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I like to make sure that those are clean. I don't really think dishwashers always do the best job with silverware. Yeah. I, you know, mm -hmm. I always end up having to like redo it, I feel like, so I'm like, let me just do it the one time. But if I have a large function at my house, you know, more than six people, then I'm like, listen, I'm tired of everything that just happened. Let me just put these in the dishwasher. Yeah. I don't have time to clean them. But Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm cleaning it by and hand. And then you inspect them when you when you pull them out of the Definitely. dishwasher because you're right. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I, I think hand washing, as far as getting things really, really clean, right. is the uh, best, me best method. So, you know, I'm, I'm for the hand washing. Yeah. But again, the dishwasher it's is convenient. a time saver and saves water, apparently, based on the uh, Verify yeah. there. So. Right. Those are big pluses. I thought that was super interesting, but they probably, the caveat in that is it saves on water if you don't hand wash them first. Because a lot of people, even me, I like to scrape off the food and at least do a little mm -hmm. bit of a rinse before they go in the washing machine. But that's probably counterproductive as far as saving money mm -hmm. on water because I'm using more. Or uh -huh. you can move out to the county. Or that. And be, go on well water. <laughs> yeah. It's an endless <laughs> supply. You know, it's not endless, but you know, we have to be, you know, a little bit more conservative, but right. we're certainly not paying for it, which yeah. is very nice. Okay, so this is also why I don't get my nails done. <laughs> you know, people are like, you never get your nails done? I'm like, nope, never, because my hands are always in a diaper or in a <laughs> or in the sink, or it's definitely not yeah. in pottery, because I don't do pottery and I don't pot plants and I don't do any yard work, so I mean, I save my hands in that. <laughs> All right, let's see what the comments say. Uh, Joanne agrees with you, Ed. You know, yes. just kind of get it done, get it out of the way. Don't, you know, mess around by loading it after time. Uh, Bobby Odom says he uses a lot of paper plates and plastic spoons and forks. But do you wash your plastic forks and reuse them, or do you just throw them out? I always reuse mine. Mm. I don't know why, but I do. Um, Sandra says, I've never owned a dishwasher, so it's always hand washing. I do use paper plates, but there's always dishes to be washed, she said. Linda said she likes hand washing too, um, and Sean washes by hand. And Sharon said, I hand wash them the, um, uh, through the dishwasher. Grew up in a restaurant. Dishwasher is sterilization mode for me. Okay, mm. yeah. All right, yeah, lots, lots of good suggestions and ideas and ways of doing things mm -hmm. that are different. Yeah. But Melody said that she washed um, by hand. She says, I don't have too many to wash. So I guess it just depends on really like who's in your household, yeah. um, you know, what occasion you might have at the time. Um, I know one thing. Oh, I'm sorry, Melody. Melody said, sadly, our dishwasher doesn't even work. So <laughs> I know one thing. If... I, if my dishes are not clean by the time it's time for me to go to bed, I can't sleep. Like I toss and turn and I'll end up getting up and going back downstairs mm -hmm. and cleaning the dishes. So before mm -hmm. I even go upstairs, I just make sure the kitchen is clean, make sure there are no dishes in the sink. And it burns me every morning when I come downstairs and my husband's had a late night snack or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't stand that. And, uh, and there's a dish mm -hmm. in the sink. Yeah. Uh. And I'm like, you couldn't, you couldn't clean this one dish. Yeah. yeah. So then I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to wash this dish before I go to work. Right. And then when I get home from work, more dishes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, I get it. So <laughs> drop a comment here if you can relate. But normally there's one person in the household who is very meticulous about loading the dishwasher and the other person is not. I'm actually the person who's not as careful about loading oh. the dishwasher. I just like to throw everything in where my husband comes like right behind me. He's like looking over my shoulder as I'm putting a bowl in there, rearranging it. He's like, they're not going to get clean this way and you're not going to fit uh, anything in right. here. So he's like methodically stacking and I'm like, I'll just hand wash it next time. Because now you see, I find that. At least that, he knows what it is. I yeah. find that interesting because I thought it would be the 
other way around. Mm-mm. I thought she'd be the one to like, everything. I mean, I'm pretty right. careful, but I don't have the patience yeah. to like line up all the plates, yeah. line up all the bowls. I mean, it just takes too long. See, I do that. <laughs> If I'm using it, yeah, you know, because I don't use it often, I'm like, okay, it'll be easier if I have to take them out if I have a method and how yeah, I put them true. in. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, easier you know? to take out for sure. But my husband doesn't even know what the dishwasher is. <laughs> <laughs> Much less how to load it, right? Exactly. Right. Well, I'll send Trevor to your house and they can talk. <laughs> Great. Maybe they can. He can learn a few things. You know, uh, I would take that, but. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those things, you know, it's part of being an adult and growing mm-hmm. up in life, you know, you just have to take care of things and then mm-hmm. you develop your own personality about the dishes in your sink and, you know, your home, as a matter of fact, do you want it to be clean or do you not necessarily care? I have a lot of friends who are like, eh. I'm, I'm like, not eh, that way. No, I'm not <laughs> that way. No, I'm not None that of us way. are that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, t- my closet is the messiest place in, in the whole house mm-hmm. because I just... It's like out of sight, out of mind. Right. You know, nobody's going in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I couldn't find a pair of shoes, and my husband was like, if you cleaned up the closet, you'd find your shoes. And I'm like, oh, here they are. <laughs> you know, like, don't have to clean it. Yeah. Right. Um, but, you know. I'm just, I'm just kind of curious here. I know we're, we're focusing on dishes, mm-hmm. but what is the one chore in the house that you absolutely hate? Unloading the dishwasher. That, so that it yeah. is associated with and that. Unloading the dishwasher and folding clothes. Really? Yeah. I, I don't, I don't I really I don't really mind that. Uh, my thing is when I take all the bed linens off the bed, mm-hmm. you know, the sheets and the fitted sheets and the pillowcases yeah. and, and laundry them mm-hmm. and then put them back on. I changing the bed. hate yeah. changing bed linens. Mm-hmm. I've always said I could never work in a hotel. Never, ever, ever. I'd get somebody else to do the beds. Right. But it's just, okay, is this fitting on here? Is this, is this the, the top or is this, uh, you know, at the end, you know, and turning the, the sheets around to make mm-hmm. them fit? It's right. like, ah! That's why a lot of people don't even use top sheets anymore. They just are done with it. They use the comforter and they use the bottom. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. that's true. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Huh. Either, yeah, <laughs> or a blanket. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, (laughs) I don't like. I've always used both. (laughs) I don't like putting clothes away. You know, like I'll I'll fold it. Everything's good. I'll take it upstairs, and then you know, get distracted by the kids or something, and then it's the next day, and I still haven't put the clothes in the right drawers, Mm -hmm. and have to get them out of the the laundry basket. Then there are dirty clothes that come up in that time. Mm -hmm. So, so my son is horrible at this. I will begrudgingly fold the clothes. I'll put them on his bed. Yeah, and I'll say, Josiah, put these away. I'll come back 30 minutes later, he's in the bed sleeping on top of the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what funny. are you doing? <laughs> Put the clothes away. And then I feel bad waking him up, mm-hmm. so then I end up taking the clothes, putting them away. I think this is his plan. Because he's be. like, if I just go to sleep, they'll, they'll get put away. <laughs> That's so funny. We're getting some comments about this. The least favorite chores oh, question good. Ed brought up as a follow. Carl said, I'll load the dishwasher. Hate to unload it. Mm-hmm. Devara agreed. Unloading. Ugh. Sharon said, she hates laundry. Too long of a process. Yes, She's Sharon. out of her cleaning mode mm-hmm. halfway through. Mm-hmm. Sean is with you, Ed, as far as what you dislike doing for chores. Melody said, it's like <laughs> buying groceries. Yep. She hates carrying them inside. I agree, mm-hmm. and especially when you get them from like Costco or something because you don't have like bags. The bags, yeah. You have like boxes if you remember yeah. to get one, and then you, like it's hard to carry like a big box of stuff inside the house. So then you end up taking it out of the box after you put it in the box to right. get it into the car. You got to take it all the way out. Then you have to load them into your house one by one, mm-hmm. not one by one, but you know, small groups. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah. I understand but you know that. that's what we part do. of it, right? Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> All right. So Ed, what you do is forecast a beautiful weather yep. day again, twice <laughs> in a row. Yeah, and I enjoy doing that, especially <laughs> when the weather's uh, dry and comfortable. And we'll have that again today before the heat and humidity really, really crank up. On our way to the mid 80s today, we'll be up around 85, 86. Plenty of sunshine and a dry day. <clears throat> Tomorrow could be, and will likely be, really. Our first 90 degree day. Again, it's got to reach 90 out at the airport for it to count as our first 90 degree day. 40% storm chance in the late afternoon and evening, and we couldn't rule out maybe a strong or severe storm on Thursday, so we'll keep an eye on that. And then by Friday and Saturday, uh, very limited 
shower or storm activity, but the temperatures are going to be even hotter. We're looking at low 90s both days. Sunday, a cold front moves in, so 50% chance of scattered showers and storms in mid 80s with the extra clouds. Behind that cold front, a genuine cool off once again. Maybe a leftover shower Monday morning, but we cool back into the lower 70s. And I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. lower 70s are going to feel real good after 92 on Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Get ready. Air conditioned working? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. What about your car? Did you get that taken uh, care of? I, I get that done tomorrow. So I think okay. before it's fixed tomorrow, I will roast a little bit. And I was going to wait until after vacation yeah. because I'm a very frugal person, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, that ain't going to happen. AC is going to be fixed yeah, uh, yeah. In, in a couple of days for sure. Okay, Got to have it. Yeah, mm. especially when temperatures get this hot. I mean, even the mid-80s yeah. yesterday was really hot. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That about wraps it up for today. We will have a, well, we'll see if we'll have an election-free <laughs> day on <laughs> Thursday. You never know. Lots to talk about this Lots week. Lots to talk about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we will see you tomorrow. Take care.